I was researching the history of the World War 3 game mode and came across some forgotten Steam screenshots. They were taken during the BNT community era of the game mode, which existed from 2011 to 2012. They seem to show some kind of ritual execution, acted out on a map that no longer seems to exist. Some have said that this was EU Valley or GM Fork or Evo City, but I couldn't find that church in any of those maps. Two people said that that particular map was called RP Coalition V1, but I couldn't verify that from my research because I couldn't find any download for it. It was said to have been a custom map which isn't on the Steam Workshop, keeping in mind that the Steam Workshop was implemented for games like Gary's Mod in 2012, while the map was probably used in 2011 and then likely abandoned. Fortunately, the Steam Screenshot function was added in early 2011, so we can see what happened, but it makes me wonder. What unusual events have gone undocumented in Gary's Mod Roleplay? What maps will never be played again? And would those curious incidents be forgotten if a video like this hadn't been made? In 2014, the game mode came back under the Lemon Punch community. The player base was largely different to the regular players from the BNT server years before, but similar events would end up happening. One of the earliest spooky things to happen during the Lemon Punch era was simply the tunnel system that was probably the EU Valley map, which was run in 2014. The story was that some soldiers were trying to find the end of one of the tunnels, and after walking for a while, they ended up back where they started. Player-made creatures existed to kill soldiers if they abandoned their group, but sometimes these creatures existed for reasons beyond the need to kill soldiers. The Ape of Panama was a harmless example of such a creature, but when the roleplay started between the ape and some soldiers of one of the main factions, it wasn't long before it ended up dead. There was a story of another ape that visited the other main faction, but that time it was fired at, even without provocation. Larry the Lizard was the nickname behind the creature I caught a glimpse of in the swampy area of RP Salvation 2 Stalker. It was rarely seen, or perhaps mistaken as a dark figure. One of the regular role players would refer to it as a bio-monstrosity. If you saw it, you'd notice it hiding behind trees and darting from swamp to swamp. The difficulty in finding it up close was down to the poor visibility of the water. It would hide under the surface and practically disappear. Before the lizard creature, there used to be mountain lions. I think it was a mountain lion model at the time, but I never saw one on the server before. There were plenty of stories of them being around though. In 2015, one of the dangerous creatures was Shrek. The story includes Donkey, but there's very little information about them. At the time we were on a map RP Pripyat which had a swamp, so perhaps when a lone soldier stumbled into the area, that could have been when Shrek attacked. Shrek was also said to have attacked soldiers outside the swamp and leave its victims alive, but I haven't come across any screenshots or videos of these incidents. There's been other creatures that were rumoured to have existed in the game mode, but there's not much information about them. I wanted to capture some of the sounds from LR Refuge because a lot of players have said they've heard unusual noises throughout the map. One player said they heard the wish granter from Stalker, others have heard children laughing, screams, chains being pulled, and the one sound I did capture was a scraping noise that happens every now and then in a certain part of the map. It was eerie recording on the map again, as it's an immersive one that I've spent time on before and encountered plenty of strange things. One of the things that happened during 2014 was the discovery of a can which was possibly the only remains of a fire team that went missing. It's difficult to give directions and point out landmarks, or even remember where the tunnels lead, so it's no surprise that players often went missing. Another incident in the tunnels involved a murder which was part of a storyline, but with an officer shortage I was so busy with everything else that I never knew what the storyline was to it. I don't remember seeing the storyline being posted anywhere, so the murder remains a mystery. At the end of 2014, we were on the snow version of Salvation 2 Stalker. A couple of soldiers encountered a pilot in a small building. After investigating the incident, they found that the pilot had crashed a nearby plane, and then died shortly afterwards, but not before planting a bomb to destroy the aircraft. Someone attempted to defuse the bomb, but it exploded, apparently killing the defuser. Like the plane crash incident, the tower lights incident didn't have any screenshots or video behind it, so it's not clear exactly what happened. The story goes that a patrol spotted flashing lights in a tower, so they moved closer to investigate. Someone was inside the tower and fell down the ladder. When the patrol checked out the top of the tower, 
they found the same symbol that appeared four years earlier when the game mode was run under a different community. Again, there was evidence of a ritual sacrifice. After they dealt with the injured person, the patrol came back to destroy the stuff at the top of the tower, but now there was a message for them on the wall which read, Bring Daddy back or else. The T-poses seem to happen more and more frequently as time goes on. One of the early stories behind them involved a character who was looting guns from a battlefield. They saw a T-pose which was still alive, but when they left the battlefield they found the same person as the T-pose character, also alive, but moving around fine. So the T-pose models might appear to be a live player, but might just be something left over from a player that's no longer there. Digital ghosts are very rare encounters. I saw one 12 years ago in Day of Defeat. It didn't have a visual play model, but my player bumped into it and I briefly saw a player name appear. Ghosts seem to appear every now and then in Gmod roleplay servers, as the play models aren't always visible for various reasons. As time goes on there seems to be more and more spooky things happening in World War 3 roleplay. From my research I've seen that they've been around since the beginning of the game mode, and it looks like they'll continue happening for as long as the game mode stays around.